welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to attempt to do just that and solve today's Times Cryptic crossword. It's Friday the 17th of March. Friday is normally the hardest day, and indeed that might well prove to be the case today. Let's have a look at the snitch here. Um, so the Times crossword snitch, let me see if I can show you this. This is This sort of estimates how hard a puzzle is by looking at the times of so-called reference solvers and the reference solvers the, the the algorithm in this website has determined are real solvers so they are people who've actually um, solved the puzzle proper, properly online rather than solving it on paper and then typing it in and they've the, the site's very clever it's done a whole load of statistical analysis to identify the so-called neutrinos who cheat uh, versus the the real people who who actually slog slog away and finish the puzzle and you can see if a puzzle is sort of getting towards a red color of snitch it's very hard now this is most certainly in the very hard category um, by far the hardest of the week and one of the two hardest in the last month so it ought to be quite a stiff challenge today and we'll see and it's certainly i think going to be approved a stiff challenge for me because i am feeling rather delicate this morning I was out last night till very late um, in London at a, a dinner to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the Oxford and Cambridge Golfing Society and it was an absolutely wonderful occasion. Uh, great to see so many friends and yeah, I'm feeling it today. Anyway, let, without further ado, let me have a go at this and let's see how we get on. Okay, the, looks like the window's in the right place anyway. It'd be out of place in crab menu. Hmm. Hmm. It'd be out of place. I want to anagram it'd be, but I can't think of a short synonym for crab. Um, so something like table. I want it to be something like table dote or something, which I know is the wrong number of letters. Okay, that's not looking good, is it? Particular. Church rings Stepney's boundaries. Well, Stepney's boundaries makes me think it's the boundaries of the word Stepney, S and Y. Uh, oh, choosy. Okay, I, I thought it was going to be an abbreviation for church and there's CE and CH that come across, come up all the time, ringing something, so surrounding it. But actually, no, it's not that, is it? It's an abbreviation for church, CH, rings, well, two things that look like rings are the letters O, so two O's, and then the boundaries of Stepney gives us choosy, and if you are choosy, you are particular, you're picky. Um, oh, let's maybe go back here again. Um, I mean, it couldn't be an anagram of crab menu, could it? It'd be... Nah, don't... Crab menu just looks like an odd collection of letters. Crumb something. No, I don't know. I don't like that. Okay, let's try nine across. Settle amount in empty beer glass. Settle amount in empty beer glass. Um, I haven't got a clue what that is. And that's... I was thinking of optic, but optics are more to do with spirits than beer. Um, and I don't want to think about those right at the moment. Let's think, let's try 12 across. Uh, for an audience, so this is instantly uh, shouting homophone at me. Musical collection bore a small organ. It's probably going to be the name of a small organ, I think. Or, or, or even or just an organ with AS for small in the middle of something. Uh, I don't know it. That's that's the short, long and short of it. Seen in context, remedy uh, is immoderate. Well, this, there's, there's normally one of these in every times crossword. They are, when you're starting to solve times crosswords, these are really important to look out for because they will give you some letters at least. And it's the so-called hidden clue. So in fact, the answer to this clue is hidden inside the letters of the clue. And the the constructor can't just include a clue like this without telling you it's this type of clue. So the words seen in are saying, if we look inside, if we see inside the letters of context remedy, 
we will see a word that means immoderate. And if you look inside there, E-X-T-R-E-M-E -E is spelt out. The answer is extreme. And that cream egg I want to put in here now. Well, it could... I mean, that would be out of place on a crab menu. Why is that cream egg? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I don't think it is. Um... Okay, what's this one then? Settle, opt, out, oat. Settle amount in empty beer glass. Oft, settle. A heel tap. What do they call it? Is it heel taps and bumpers and things like that? I'm trying to think of old words for what's left in the bottom of your beer glass. Settle. I mean, I think it must mean settle. Why, do I, why can't I just write that in? Well, it's because my brain isn't working today. That's why. I mean, it's quite clear. Let's see if this is cream egg. Eh, oh, it could be. Mum could be ma. Um, more properly. Mum more properly binds leg for one. In the long run. Marathon? I just think of things that mean a long run. Um, more properly. Binds leg for one. Leg is a limb. In the long run. I'm not sure. Let's try this one. Low key coronation may be so rude. Low key coronation may be so rude. Mm, don't know. Five across. Ingredient in plaster. Put over spot in face. <laughs> um, this is quite a clever surface, isn't it? Uh, ingredient in plaster. Is that saying it's a letter in the word plaster? P, perhaps? Put over spot. I don't know. I don't know what that is either. Bad start. Unsurprising. It's a hard puzzle. Bebops inside as well. That suggests the sort of inside letters of the word bebop. So E-B-O interrupting one of stones who are troublemakers who are troublemakers so i sort of want to put something like the boys or something here troublemakers rock the boat rock oh, the stones rock I quite like something about that feels like it might be right. Let me just put that in. So, how is this working? If our troublemakers rock the boat would be the definition. Bebops insiders, EBO, interrupting one of stones, rock that. One of stones. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see if we can justify a T here. Strange sins or original one. That seems like it's an anagram to me of strange sins or because we have to treat those letters in an original way. Um, I mean, it could be Strange could be an anagram indicator here as well, actually. No, original is, is eight letters, so that we can't get to a 13 count if we do it that way. So I think it's going to be strange, sins, or anagrammed to give a word that means one. Now, it's just possible here that we have to, it's a sort of semi-analyte, and the answer will be some sort of uh, transgression is the answer, isn't it? So it, so it is it is referring to a a sin so the definition isn't just the word one we need to read it in context um, and a, a type of sin is a transgression so that does support the which is perhaps not terribly surprising in in, uh, in 10 across let's try let's try that one 16 across incisors coating of enamel seen on outside of head well the coating of enamel must be the e and the l the, the things that are 
the coat of the word, the, the outer part of it. So I wonder if the S here is this S, is this apostrophe S? And then we have E and L around a word for head. And it means an incisor, like a scalpel. I really like scalpel as the answer. That's got E and L. Let's just put that in and see if we can justify it. Coating of enamel seen on outside of head. I suppose the outside of your head is your scalp. Okay, so it's we put E and L on a word that means the outside of your head, scalp, and we get scalpel. Whereas I was trying to see it, I was trying to see on outside of as a sort of indicating the position that we were put the E and the L in the clue. Well, uh, we get a P actually in seven down. Let's just check that one then. Temporary odds absorbing four golfers. Temporary odds. Odds in cryptic crosswords sometimes is the starting price, as you get in horse racing. SP. Absorbing four golfers. So if we put SP. I don't know. I don't know. I should know that, shouldn't I? Having just been to a golf dinner. Um, Oh, no, not sure. Let's try six. Oh, Klein Bottle. Klein Bottle is sort of a three-dimensional Mobius strip, isn't it? Something like that. Um, perhaps Klein Bottle volume with positive sign. Perhaps Klein. I wonder if that's trying to indicate something like Calvin Klein, like a fashion designer. Bottle volume with positive sign. I haven't got a clue what that is. It's a very cleverly worded clue. I really like the clue if it's got an answer that's fair. Um, eight down. Protective, once maintaining alternative line. Protective. I want that to be something like fatherly. No, motherly, maybe, is better, actually. Let's try motherly. Um, and the way I got to that was thinking about what could alternative line be in wordplay terms. An alternative is other, and then L for line, and then that's all going in my, which is a possessive, so ones. You see the apostrophe S there? And if you were saying one as in sort of you know, in a very posh way, we might say, oh, one's butler was here today, meaning my butler was here today. Now, I don't have a butler, but you might do. Um, OK, so there we go. Um, ingredient in, oh, gypsum or something like that. Gosh, it is gypsum. Wow. Wow. OK, that's quite a difficult um, clue. So ingredient in plaster is the definition. And then we have to put over, which means reverse, a word for spot. Well, a word for spot is not a zit here or something like that. It's to spy. If you spy someone, you spot them. So we reverse the word spy in a word for face, which is mug. Um, uh, you might refer to, you know, it's sort of a slang word for the face. One's mug. You might say, you, you, you ugly mug. If you're particularly unkind, don't say that. Um, but then, so mug and mug around spy, reverse the whole lot, we get gypsum. Now, what's this then? Perhaps Klein bottle volume with positive sign. I mean, oh, I suppose the might be wrong. Oh, but, but Rock the Boat is looking quite good with motherly, isn't it? Oh, I suddenly thought it's not going to be something like Yves Saint Laurent, is it? Like Y-V-E-S. Oh, it is. It is. It's Eve. Now, why is... Maybe there's somebody called Eve Klein, and I don't know that person. But, but this is the answer, because what we've got here... 
um, we've got to bottle, i.e. if you bottle something, you sort of, you know, you put it in a bottle, don't you? You, you, you encase it in something. And we're encasing V for volume in a positive sign, which is yes, uh, which would be a certain, you certainly if you said yes, you'd be giving a positive sign. So I'm pretty sure the answer is Eve, but I don't quite understand the Eve Klein reference. Somebody in, in chat will have to explain that to me. Um, so our temporary odds for golfers, snow cap I want to put in here, is not snow cap. Don't put snow cap in here, that's nonsense. Um, let's try this one. Oh, endless joy, frabjous joy, um, to behold with desire. Oh, oh, endless joy to behold with desire. Okay, it's ogle, isn't it? That's that's very clever. Okay, how have I got to ogle, you may well ask. Well, what I did was I looked at the word O, oh, which was very strange, and I treated it... Um, Oh, actually, hang on. Well, I, I want to use endless twice here because I, I thought glee was the word for joy. And I was going to treat that endlessly. So get rid of the old E. So I think O is being used. I think O and O, O, H and O are being treated synonymously here. So this O is that O. And then I've no idea what this is going to be, by the way. And then glee is an, uh, without its end is endless joy. And if you behold someone with desire, you might ogle them. So stop gap must be the answer. So, okay, so stop gap goes in. Temporary would be a stop gap, wouldn't it? Odds. Oh, PGA, goodness me, right. Well, no, I mean, what I was at last night was uh, all about the amateur game, frankly. So nothing to do with uh, the PGA, which is the Professional Golfers Association. So what's going on here? We've got... SP for odd starting price, absorbing four golfers to PGA. You might so if you were addressing a letter for golfers, you might address it to PGA. I mean, it's slightly stretched, but I think that that is what's going on there. Um, I don't know how many people in the Times Crossword world will be familiar with the Professional Golfers Association. <laughs> And how, you know, how ubiquitous PGA is in the lexi lexicon of solvers. Uh, but for me, it is a fairly natural one. So that's lucky. Uh, right. So rock the boat still looks right, doesn't it? I've, I'm just going to go back to this. How, do, how is this working? So Bebop's Insiders is EBO, surely. Interrupting one of stones. One of stones rock one of stones who are rock that is that is that is it sort of saying one of stones who is it trying to say one of st if if you were to try it and create a, an alternative phrase for one of stones who and stones here is not the rolling stones imagine you're talking about a stone a pebble one of stones who you might say rock that the rock that did this thing so i think one of stones who is rock that around ebo to give a definition which is quite a difficult definition are troublemakers because if if you because troublemakers on its own would be the wrong part of speech for rock the boat. Rock the boat does not mean troublemakers, but our troublemakers um, does mean rock the boat. If you if there are troublemakers, they rock the boat. Um, so I think that's how we have to read the clue. Not easy at all to understand, but I'm pretty sure correct. Um, now, let's try 17 down. We've not got any letters, but it would be hugely useful. Four starting letters if we get this. Now, also, I have made myself a cup of tea today. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to have a sip of it. Thank you. Uh, I think that amount of... It's very good to get non-alcoholic liquids uh, coursing through the veins of Simon today. Um, 
of operations precise as military ones. Of operations. That, that of is a strange word in the clue. I haven't got a clue what that is, <laughs> ironically. Uh, let's try 18 across. Innumerable. Other ranks will be OR. That's, that is an abbreviation of other ranks. Including private. Following uniform. Okay. So... Uh, innumerable. I want to sort of put... Oh, I want I want the, the construction to be something like that. Um, with now a word that means private, which looks like it wants to begin with T, doesn't it, for the sort of construction of the clue. Private. Mm, I'm not really seeing that, and it all means in innumerable. I don't know. Right, have we looked at this one? Oh no, I've not looked at this one. I've got an R as the starting letter. Time lost to abacus at last in turning beads. Goodness me. There's a lot going on in that clue. Time lost to abacus at last in turning Be. I think it means beads probably. But I haven't got a clue what that is, I'm afraid. Right, let's try another one. Reflection of petrifying monster. Petrifying, that's turning to stone. So we're thinking of Medusa and things like that. Would show no such spirit. Um, reflection. Of, is it, I'm thinking it's... Medusa. So if we reverse the word Medusa, can we see anything in there that's of any use? Not really. What about Gorgon? G O R G O G R O. No. Grog. Grog. Grog feels like it's the answer to this. Why? Gorg. Oh, that's a beautifully worded clue. My goodness me, this is very cleverly worded. Okay. Now, we have to read this so carefully to understand it. If we reflect a word for a petrifying monster, which is the word Gorgon in this instance, that would obviously, that would be, the, uh, that would spell out N-O Grog. So it would show, if we reflected the word Gordon, we would see something that was N-O, and then such spirit is saying, such spirit being the answer to the clue. So it would, it, so it's grog, no grog. Uh, if we reflect it, would give Gorgon, the petrifying monster. Love that, love that. Very, very unusually worded and very clever. Um, oil rig labourer to supplant sailor in rabble. Uh, these are the sorts of clues that I am just bad at. Um, oil rig labourer. I just, I just have no, you know, this just seems to be so much going on in that to me. I can't get a handle on what I need to think about. 26 across, light support of container in case carried by Richard. Don't know. 27, a child count. Some 23, topped, some 23, which is, oh, some, oh, it is, it's, a, right, okay, that is a triple definition, very unusual thing, double definitions, not so unusual, triple definitions are unusual, why is it a triple definition, well, tot is a synonym for a child, if you count something, you tot it up, and some grog, you get a tot of, might get a tot of rum if you're lucky, not today for me. Not today, thank you. Anyway, let's have a look. No tension in parishioners clutching cross. Ooh. No tension. The clever thing about this clue 
is, is it's very, again, it's very hard to get a handle on what the definition is. So normally I'm looking for one side of the clue or the other. Now it could be a word that means no tension. But that's a strange way of defining a word, isn't it? And then parishioners, but the parishioners need to be clutching a cross, which I'm thinking is an X. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, let's try 21 down. Maximally delay start of demonstration to shout from here. So I think that this will probably be a seven letter word for a demonstration. And then we're going to take the first letter of that word and delay it maximally in the word. So put it to the end to give somewhere you would shout from uh, a, a lectern, I was going to say, but I don't think it is that. Um, oh, sorry, I've got an itch under my glasses. Um, all right, let's try that one. Not quite saying what will reduce cholesterol. Not quite saying what will reduce cholesterol. Don't know. Digs away from hills. Ah. Uh, I don't know that either. I love the wording of that. That's really clever. Dicks away from hills. Don't know. 29. Maybe use too few items plucked from cushion or bolster. Maybe use too few items. I'm thinking under... Plucked from cushion or bolster. Under pin? from cushion if you bolster something you sort of support it don't you i like that i like under here if that was a p would that make any sense to shout from hilltop that might be somewhere you'd shout from rooftop i really like top as the ending here because i can see that um, the start of a demonstration. Oh, maybe proof to. Let's have a look at that. Yes, it is. That's beautifully worded. Again, this puzzle's very clever. Just very clever. So it is. Um, so we have to th take two words that, that, that mean demonstration to. So the words we need are proof and to, the same word. So proof to. We maximally delay the starting P of that, and we get roof to P, rooftop, which is where you might shout something. So that would, underpin is still looking quite good there, isn't it? This is not helping me. Beads, that could be a rosary. Oh, I like that. That's going to be right. I don't know why, but it's going to be right. Um, time lost to abacus. At last. Oh, I see. Golly, golly, gosh, right. Um, wow. Wow, this is very difficult. So here, we have to think of a word that means turning. And if we do that, we might come up with the word rotary. And then we're going to, that word is going to lose its time. You see time lost here. Now T is an abbreviation for time. So we take the T out of the word rotary and we replace it with the last letter of the word abacus, abacus at last. So the time is being lost to, it's being replaced by the last letter of abacus, which is S. So we swap the T in rotary for the S and we get rosary. And obviously rosary are your you fiddle with your beads, you fiddle with your rosaries, bow your head in great respect and a genuflect, genuflect, genuflect. A little bit of Tom Lehrer for you. Um, right, more than one older lamb chop. <laughs> more than one older lamb chop. Lasagna's crust not kept well. What? More than one. 
I, I want this to be sort of ancestors or something like that. More than one older. Uh, old, more than one older lamb. Chop lasagna. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's saying anagram lasagna then. Crusts not kept well. Oh, goodness me. That's an ab another extraordinarily worded clue. Not kept well. I don't know what it is, but I'm intrigued by that one. Okay, so we think that if this was underpinned, 22 down, not quite saying what will reduce cholesterol. Uh, not quite saying. I'm thinking it's a word for a saying, like a motto without its end, like mo M O double T, but then I can't think of how that's going to work. Reduce cholesterol diet. What'll reduce cholesterol dietal? Mm, don't know. Okay, so, well, if rock the boat is correct, which, oh yeah, we, we justified that, didn't we? So low-key coronation may be so rude. Coronation is how many letters? Ten, is it? So ten. Mm, low key. Coronation. Maybe so rude. Tactless. Or, oh, I don't know. Oh, and I don't know my cream egg one, do I? It'd be out of place in crab menu. It'd be out of place. I mean, it's, it's desperately wanting to be an anagram of it'd be. Crab. Three-letter word for a crab beginning with C. And the whole thing means menu. I, feel, I, I have a horrible feeling this is an easy clue. And I'm just not seeing it. Um, menu. Oh dear, 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 dear. This is just, uh, yeah, this is just hangover brain not helping me. Right, for an audience, musical collection bore a small organ. Organ could be a newspaper as well as sort of a physical organ, like, you know, part of your body, like your spleen or something. What about 15 across? I've never even looked at this. Mutilate man's title from erudition being recalled. So I think it means mutilate. And then, oh goodness, there's a load of building work going on on the road today. I don't know if that's making bangs you can hear. Apologies if so. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. Um, right, let's try, ah, oh, we haven't done this one. Fire survivors. I wonder if that's something like a bed nigo. Oh, Shadrach, a bed nigo. Who? Uh, there's a biblical. Uh, is that, that's what I'm thinking there. Anyway, that's probably not relevant. Uh, fire survivors tool ultimately seen in photos. Tool ultimately will be the ultimate letter of the word tool. So that's L seen in photos what are photos Sh shoots pics snaps albums photos fire survivor uh Phoenix, but there's no L in Phoenix. I don't know. Okay, oh, I've looked at that one, didn't I? Oh, that was the no tension. Oh, golly, golly, gosh. Okay, this is a serious, serious challenge to finish this one. I hate it as well. You know, look at this. How can I not have solved this clue? It's absolutely abysmal. Settle amount in empty beer glass. Okay. 
Uh, what on earth is that? Ought. There is a word ought that means a bit. O-R-T. I don't see why it's that. I don't think it is that. Out. O-W-T. Out. Settle. I mean, I almost feel like I've got one of these down answers wrong. No, that must be right. I don't, so I don't know what this is. Okay, let's try. Oh, that's the musical collection again. Uh, musical collection. I don't know. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right. Okay, this is fine, though. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. We are going to crack it. It's just going to take longer. We've got a G in this one. So, of... Oh, this would be the useful one, wouldn't it? Of operations... Precise as military ones. Military operations would be what? <sighs> Precise as military ones. I have no idea what that is. I'm I, there was a third. There was a third fire survivor in the Bible story. Abednego... I want to say Shadrach. I think the other one might have begun with M. Me. In which case it's not the answer here. Fire survivor. Tool ultimately seen in photos. Oh, there's something in the back of my mind that's singing to me there and I can't I can't hear the tune quite. Um, no tension in parishioners clutching cross. Parishioners might be flock. Cut, clutching cross. No tension in parishioners. I mean, a T could be a word for te or, a, or a, a letter for tension. So, so we take a T out of a, a word for parishioners. Worshippers. Congregation. Clutching, but well, then we would need a word that means clutching cross. There are no words that mean clutching cross, surely. This is one of those clues that makes me think whether, you know, about whether the definition could be N-O. You know, and then we put T in a word for parishioners and they also clutch an X or something like that. Uh, no. All right, we've met a uh, digs away from hills. Digs, ah, oh, yeah, okay, I've done that. So, very cleverly worded. It makes you think about archaeology when you read the clue, digs away from hills. But digs is a sort of colloquial wor um, word for where you live. You know, you live in your digs. And uh, somewhere you might live is a flat. And that would certainly be away from the hills, wouldn't it? So that's an answer. It's given me a T in oh, it's given me a T in this one. No tension. Smooth. I mean, it's not smooth. Uh, I'm trying to think if I can think of any good. Oh, no, rude. I was thinking for a cross. R W O D. That's not going to help me, is it? Ank. A N K H. <sighs> I don't know. I think it's going to have an X in it, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's given me an L. Light support. So what's that going to be? Something like, a, you know, like a street light. Uh, light support of container in case carried by Richard. Like candlestick is quite a good answer there, isn't it? That would be a light support. I was thinking, actually, the way I was thinking about that was obviously Richard, a uh, shortened form of Richard is, is Dick, the name Dick. I was trying to put D-I-C-K around the edge. Oh, and it probably is. It's probably this D, is it? So container is can. And in case. So it's it's not a case as in 
like a, a luggage case, in case, an old word for in case, you might say lest, lest this happens, in case this happens, lest goes in Richard Dick. So we get candlestick, which is a light support. Good grief. Not right. We get a K in this one. Crusts not kept well. More than one. Older lamb. I wonder if this is something the breed of sheep. Ramshackle. Oh, it is ramshackle. Whoa, wow, okay. So more than one older lamb. Well, an old lamb would be a ram. Or, you know, a sort of fully grown sheep. So more than one of those would be rams. Uh, chop, hack, lasagna's crust, L-E, not kept well, lamb shackle. Sorry, ram shackle, <laughs> not lamb shackle. That's brilliant. More than one older lamb chopped lasagna's crust, not get well. Ah, oh, what a sick clue. That is sick. Right, so this is still looking like underpin, isn't it? Maybe use too few items plucked from cushion. Oh, pin cushion. So maybe I think that's, that's probably what it's saying. You know, you get a pin cushion. So if you use too few items, so pincushion is something you stick a load of pins in to keep them safe. If you use to you to use too many, too few items that you plucked from such a cushion, you would underpin, and underpin is to bolster. So okay, so that's going to be right. Now we've got twenty-two down, which is I don't know what this is. Fatten, not quite saying what'll reduce cholesterol. That's the opposite. Uh, not quite saying. Okay, I wonder if it could be uh, glute, something like gluten. Or I'm, I'm thinking of T-I-N-G. I'm actually thinking of a word that T-I-N-G at the end. So, and I'm thinking it's a word for saying or uttering, which we're going to shorten, not quite all of the word. And it all means what will reduce pec pectin or something what will reduce cholesterol no I quite like tin at the end saying uttering mouthing I don't know if I could get this one what do we think this one is oil rig labourer Probably that's the definition. To supplant sailor in rabble. Ugh. Oil rig labourer. I mean, what's the word for an oil rig labourer? To supplant sailor. I mean, sailor could be A, B. It could be tar, it could be lots of other things as well, OS, ordinary seaman, in rabble. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, we've got a C in this one now. Of operations. I want that to be something like algebraic for some reason, but I don't think it is. Trig precise as military ones precise sort of logical or something like that it's not logical obviously but I quite like that sort of construction something jickle I would give an L here no tension Laity, laxity, oh, it is laxity, good grief. Right, so the parishioners, you might refer to the lay people, they would be the parishioners rather than the people of the cloth, the clergy. So the, the laity, clutch X for cross, we get laxity and no tension would be laxity. Um, now, what's this word then? Let's try and do this without looking at back at the clue. 
in K. I was thinking Equinox, but obviously it's not that. Um, I don't know what was this one. Oh, there, this was the. F oh, it is Phoenix then. Ho. Oh. ah, oh, that's brilliant. So I was totally misled. You know, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. It's Phoenix. Phoenix is something that can survive a fire. Ho for tool, garden ho. Then seen, ultimately seen, is the last letter of the word seen. That gives the N, and that all goes in pics, which is a slang word for photos. Show me your pics. Um, so Phoenix is the answer, and that at least gives me umpteen for this one, which I realise is nothing to do with what I thought was going on with the O and the R, but umpteen is innumerable. Why is it umpteen? I don't know yet. Following uniform, uniform will be U. Private's probably PT. Or PTE maybe, men. God, that's so me. I mean, this is deliberately obtuse, I think, on the part of the constructor. Other ranks is so often an abbreviation for soldiers in encrypted crosswords. You see soldiers, you think OR is one of the classic uh, abbreviations. So when I see other ranks spelt out, I'm thinking OR, as you saw earlier. It's not that. Other ranks is just, he's just referring to men. So what we've got here is men, M-E-N, surrounding P-T-E, abbreviation for private, for all follows U for uniform, giving umpteen innumerable. And now, can we get this? Of operations. I mean, it's got to be. It's got to have that construction, hasn't it? Surgical. Yes, it does. Okay, so why is it surgical? Of operations, precise. Well, that would be a definition. As military ones. Surgical strikes. I th okay, maybe it's maybe it's sort of alluding to the sort of subtle difference in definition. If you were to say, if something was in a hospital and it was about operations, it would be about surgery, so, so it would be surgical. Whereas a surgical military operation, it doesn't mean quite the same thing. It means precise there. So I think that's what was going on. It's sort of a, it's referring to the subtly different meanings of the word. <laughs> Very difficult, again, very difficult. Right, so we've now sort of done the top. We've done the northeast and the southwest. Um, so we've done sort of Newcastle and Cornwall when it comes to the puzzle. But we are lacking in the areas of Liverpool and Kent. Um, now, I'm trying to decide where to look next. I mean, this would be huge, wouldn't it? If I Oh, I haven't actually looked at this one for a while. Mum... I mean, it looks like it begins. It does. I want the, <laughs> mum more properly. Rather. Binds leg for one. Or for one in the lot. Oh, maybe this marathoner. Somebody who is running. One in the long run might be a marathoner. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but ma rather. Binds leg. Okay. The leg side in cricket is the on side. So we put on in the middle of ma for mum, as in your mother, more properly, rather, surrounds on, and we get marathoner, somebody in the long run. Now this is terrifying, because this, this must be cream egg, mustn't it? Or cream something, cream tea, cream... It'd be out of place. Oh, cream bun. Oh, it's... Oh, I just didn't see the anagram. Okay, it's an anagram of crab menu. Cream bun. I should have got that ages ago. Didn't. That that was uh, poor. Um, but we might be able to get this now. Low key. Unceremonious. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. Right. Coronation may be so. A low key coronation might be without ceremony or unceremonious. And if you're rude, you're unceremonious. So that's certainly right, I think. Deform, mutilate. Man's title from 
oh it's oh sorry i misread this it's edition being recorded i thought i read it as erudition for some reason i don't know why it's deformed let's see if we can work out man's title is mr of ed from edition being recalled i.e reversed so it's a, a total reversal of mr of ed tricky Oh, this is that's tricky anyway let's try that one can we get it without looking at the clue shelter sep no oh, i don't know um oh this is the small organ one sheet broad <laughs> rather than broad sheet uh sweet oh sweet bread oh it is oh it's sweet bread isn't it okay i don't know why yet uh for an audience oh a musical collection is a suite s-u-i-t-e so it is a homophone of the word suite that gives us s-w uh -E -T, which obviously sounds the same bore oh, a small organ oh i see no and then we need a homophone for the word bore if you if you're uh, if you bear someone you give birth to them uh, or you breed them so bread is b-r-e-d is the word we need there and a, syn a homophone for that would be b-r-e-a-d um, so it, it's musical collection sweet bread with different spellings obviously we spell that differently in the answer to give a small organ a sweet bread um, okay so can we get this now oil rig laborer oh, oil rig laborer let me just think about that for a second oil rig laborer to supplant sailor in rabble what's a rabble a mob oil rig laborer oh dear this is bad isn't it because then that's that this one all leads into this one not quite saying what will reduce cholesterol not quite saying what will reduce saying what will reduce color statin stating yeah okay so a statin is i think something that reduces cholesterol um and if you're not quite it's the word that's not quite the word stating which would be saying okay so can we get this something about then is that what's going on here oil rig laborer to supplant sailor in rabble Labourer to supplant is to a rabble. Is that a host? A rabble. Oil. I think. I think this is going to be the name. A name for an oil rig labourer. But I don't know that word, I don't think, which is not great. It's not going to be helpful to solving the clue. Like boost about or something or house oil rig laborer. Uh, joist about to supplant is to replace sailor i want that to be a b here i have to say so i'm thinking of a b here in rabble so that would mean rabble would would end o blank t to supplant a uh, supplant could be to oust so something like that Okay, and if that's right, we need a four-letter word. F 
Global host housed about. Ha, ha, ha. No, that's wrong, isn't it? Uh, I mean, that must end about, mustn't it? Roused about. A rabble. Is a rabble a rout? Quite like that. Roused about. Is a, r a rabble a rout? I don't love that, I have to say. Oil rig labourer, a roustabout. Um, what else could it be? I mean, if we th if we th if we think it's it is about, I think it's going to be about. What what is a, an, another legitimate word here that that we could we could believe would work? I mean, roust about is strange enough, isn't it? Joust about? No, there's no word. J O U T. Um, let's just do a quick dictionary dictionary trawl in our heads, and conclude that. Mm, I think roust about. Roused about, I think, might be right. I don't know. No, never heard this word, obviously, in my life. Right. Settle amount in empty beer glass. Oh, is this opt? Yes. Okay. If you settle for something, you opt for it. And it and a, and a pint glass. If you had nothing in your pint glass, it would be zero for nothing, and then PT for pint. So this could be the answer. It's not impossible. If roused about is right, let's click submit and let's pray. <laughs> uh, oh no, it's roused about. Oh, it was right. Oh, well, I'm proud of that actually, because that's not a word I knew. Let's let's find the dictionary um, and see if we can justify some of this. So roused about, roused about. There we go. A wharf labourer, a person who does odd jobs, a rouse about. Oh, a general labourer. On an oil rig or in a circus a roustabout so rout then must be a word for a rabble oh there it is a gathering of three or more purpose three or more people for the purpose of committing an unlawful act okay so that's very much what I associate with the word rabble as well so that's fair enough isn't it um, yeah there you go a disorderly a mob um, now, was there anything else that we needed to check there? Let's have a quick look. I think I justified everything else. Just going through them now. Oh, let's go through. I'm going through the downs. Oh, Eve Klein. I don't know. I think I'm going to rely on chat to explain that one. Before I sneeze. Don't sneeze. That's not going to please anybody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much if you're still with me. I think that was a, that's a brilliant, brilliant crossword, but it is not easy. And that's um, uh, it's very appropriate that it's treated with such respect by the snitch today. A really, really quality puzzle. Loved it. I did love it. And it's got so many clever things in it. Uh, it's um, definitely a puzzle that I think everybody could learn at least a little bit from indeed as i did <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with another edition of cracking the cryptic <laughs>